Hi guys, this is Fei Wu from Fei's World Media. I'm excited about this video because a lot of you have asked me how you can use Zoom to teach music uh, when it comes to piano or violin, whatever it may be, or you're a student receiving these lessons, as well as people working in the orchestra, uh, people who are trying to produce music at home and want to make sure they just broadcasts to your audience at the highest quality possible. This requires you to understand the advanced audio settings in Zoom, and that's exactly what I'm going to show you in this video. Let's get started. <laughs> In this video, what I'm going to show you is using, this is what's called an Asian tongue drums. I don't know what it's called that way, but it's super adorable and it sounds like this. I am not a professional, but I want to use this instrument because it's kind of sophisticated in, in its own way and it creates some of the echo and, you know, music or sound coming in and out, therefore making Zoom really a lot less ideal to transmit music in this sense. What I'm going to do in this video is to show you guys the difference between the audio setting as it comes with Zoom, as well as the advanced settings you can use to ensure that your music quality, whether you're an instructor, a musician, or a music student, is at its highest quality when transmitting that music to the other end. So let's get started. First of all, as promised, I'm going to show you directly through my mic. I'm going to play this music just for a few seconds so that you can hear with the normal setup, the regular setup before you change anything. And then I want to show you why you might want to consider changing the setup within Zoom, including some of the advanced settings, which is not hard to do. Well, let's get started. Uh, I'm going to show you now on my screen what the regular setup looks like under audio setting right here. You can also do it through sort of the zoom, you know, preference uh, upper left hand corner. Uh, but when you go to your audio setting, as you can see right now, what I have is my speaker as I'm hearing from other people is same as system. But most importantly, my microphone here is set Scarlett 6i6. This is an audio interface, which is what this microphone is plugged into. Right. So as you can see, the normal or default setting is with automatically adjust microphone volume turn on. What you want to do when you teach and take a music lesson is that you want to make sure this is unchecked. In a moment, I'll show you what it sounds like, but we're not done here. Now, from there, what you want to do is click on the advanced setting. Once you do that, you want to make sure that you check this thing called show in meeting options to enable original sound from microphone. Now, when you hover over that, it gives you some more information such that this will turn off audio enhancements such as echo cancellation and noise suppression. Now, this option is very necessary if you're running a normal meeting, especially with background sound, because it's going to enhance your audio. However, if you're playing an instrument with this turned off, which means you're not using original sound, then it can be a disaster. So you'll notice, I'm going to check this uncheck a few times. You'll notice here in this corner, once it's checked, now within the meeting, you have the option to turn on or off the original sound, which I'm going to show you. Now, I have also experimented a bit with these two options, which is, let's take a look, suppress persistent background noise. And right now it's on auto. So things such as fans and air conditioning, that's going to help you filter that out. So what you want to do is disable that when you play an instrument. Another thing is suppress intermittent background noise, which is uses deep learning to suppress noises such as uh, a keyboard sounds, tapping, door closing, um, things like that. So you also want to disable this. Again, this is for music and music lessons. So once these things are done, you can close out of that. Here I am again. Now on my screen, this is a little, maybe a little counterintuitive. So you have the option to turn on and off. As I'm doing this, my sound probably changed a bit on your end already. 
Uh, when it says turn off original sound, that means currently it's turned on. That is the difference. Again, if you are playing instruments such as a violin or piano, definitely those instruments are technically way more sophisticated than this. And in fact, in my opinion, you know, you will need the setting even more so, as you can imagine, but just because the range of the music and the range of the sound, the sophistication of the instrument, there are a lot of intricacies that you want to preserve, therefore, by using the original sound. So I hope you find this helpful. Please know that these settings are not available to set up on a mobile device. However, once this is set on your desktop, once this is set on your Zoom account, you can then go back to your mobile phone and turn this on and off. I am going to show you right now how to enable original sound on your Zoom mobile device. Please know that this requires you to first do that on your desktop. First, what you want to do is go to the lower right hand corner, click on settings. Once you're here, click on meetings. Within meetings, you want to scroll down. There are a lot of settings here you probably never noticed before. And from there, you want to turn on original sound right there. This is going to trigger and mimic the audio setting that you have on your desktop or on your computer as well. So if you are an instructor or a student who is either teaching or taking music lessons through your mobile phone, you want to make sure to use original sound. So I hope you find this helpful. Again, this is Fei Wu and on this channel, I have a lot of Zoom tutorials to help musicians and artists and, you know, fitness instructors, creative entrepreneurs, but we're also broadcasting and begin teaching a lot of live streaming best practices, techniques, tutorials for software, such as uh, Restream, Caster, Lula. There's so much more to come. Please stick around and we're interviewing entrepreneurs about once a week, really understand how they're able to create and thrive uh, in a time like this. So stay safe, be well, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.